Hello and welcome. I'm gonna help you with booting from an external USB drive using a Sony Bio laptop. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up because this is gonna solve your problem. Uh, basically when you insert the USB drive in one of these slots, whoops that's the wrong one, let's put it in here. Blue goes to blue, right? USB free to USB free should be the best solution. At least I think so, so let's start it up and see what happens. What happens is operating system not found. Now this can have two reasons. We can just try to restart, maybe it needs some more time to load from this thing. Does it? Nope, operating system not found. Let's restart, let's press F2 this time. Uh, I can just hold it down or keep clicking it. Uh, pressing it. If I go to the boot section, I can see external device boot enabled. This is what we want. It can be disabled. If it's disabled, press enter, go down, uh, and press enabled. So uh, external device boot has to be enabled. That's uh, that's kind of clear. Then save and exit. This is F10 in, in this case. I'm gonna confirm that. But it still doesn't work even if I hold uh, or press escape, which is supposed to be the boot menu, it doesn't work. Now the problem is, well, uh, not surprisingly, USB free is the problem. You cannot boot from this USB free module connector. I don't know the reason. So plug it in in one of these USB 2 connectors, or plugs, and then just uh, control, -Alt F4, uh, control alt delete to restart. And in my case, yeah, it's, I think it's booting, yep, yeah, it's booting to, from the drive. Now, uh, let me just restart. This might not always happen. If you insert it too late, for example, this is the USB, one of the USB 2 ones, then it might have so much of a delay, it will again say operating system not found. In that case, just restart again, it will, I guess, hardware side need a little time to load from that external drive. Now it's working. So all you've got to do is use a USB 2 connector, even if you have a USB 3 uh, drive. And, and maybe you have to tweak the settings using F2 BIOS, as I showed you. I hope this helped. Give this video a like if it did. Subscribe to support this channel. Let me know in the comments if you still have problems. And I hope you have a fantastic time trying to install Windows and such things. Until next time, ciao!